just wanted to kind of go over some of the basic ideas of uh, how Site One has been adjusting to uh, the COVID-19 pandemic and what are some of the things that uh, you're able to assist your customers and, and the landscapers and that uh, would be u- utilizing your services. First and foremost, Site1.com, um, we, we look at that as a solution to, to help with the current climate. Our number one priority is to keep our associates and our customers safe. And if our customers can place an order to be picked up at a branch and then they can honor the, the social distancing that the CDC recommends at the branch, your order will be ready. So it, it reduces the amount of time that they're at the branch and improves their efficiency where then they, they can spend more time at the job site itself or that they can place an order directly online for delivery at the job site as well. We, we feel as though that, you know, the system that we put in place is, uh, is really a game changer for our customers um, to use, especially in the current environment. And how much of that was a change from what you had? I mean, was, was a delivery to, to direct to a site an option previously or? Yeah. I mean, it, it's the, you know, ever since we launched, we've been focusing hard on customer adoption and we've seen some adoption stronger than others. And, you know, it, it was coming out of the winter months. So those are slower months. So right in the spring when COVID-19 hit, we felt as though that this was a way to mitigate all of the challenges that that presented. It's a system that's been in place, but we felt like it, w- it was a good time to kind of reacquaint our customers with its capabilities. And so my understanding is, in general, since COVID-19, the, uh, the number of people that have signed up for the uh, those online accounts has increased quite a bit? Definitely. You know, the number of accounts that we've seen have, you know, more than doubled. And sometimes some instances even tripled, especially over the month of um, April, the month of March, we're doubling and the month of April, we're almost tripling in terms of people who are adapting the and trying to get more accounts. For getting those accounts then, what uh, what does that get uh, those customers? What do they have access to? Is that basically so they're able to order through Site 1 and, and get... and uh, get those uh, possible on-site deliveries or option to be able to social distance even directly at the branch if necessary. It allows them, you know, multiple things, you know, definitely they can order and it makes it easy for them to avail to the curbside pickup without having to step out of their, you know, truck. We can just load it right into their truck. Along with that, you know, they don't have to um, call the branches to get their personal contractor pricing. They can get it. They can log on to the website, get their personal pricing. We can get their inventory and uh, you know, availability information. They're able to, you know, if they're doing repeat purchases, they're able to create a list and, you know, go right in and, okay, this is what I buy on a uh, you know, repeated uh, basis. And I can just go in and quickly identify these are my things, add it to cart, and out I go. They were able to pay their bill online, so they don't, don't have to worry about, you know, managing their payments. They can go right in online, pay their bill. They have all their past purchase histories, whether it's purchased in the store or online for the past two years, and all their invoices, all their order histories right there. So okay. it kind of gives them everything, you know, their account information, you know, how much credit information they have, you know, credit is left, what's pending. All of that is all bundled up and ready for them to the moment they log in the very first time, it's all bundled up for them and that whole omni-channel view is ready for them to consume. So if they've had a past history of ordering, they log in and it's all there for the past two years is already in the system. It's preloaded into the system. Liz had sent me kind of a breakdown where you have some tutorial videos kind of showing people how to log into the system and everything. Yes, we do have uh, you know, a set of six videos that kind of Walk them through the process. If they're coming to the website the very first time, you know, what what are some of the key highlights of the website? How do you request an account? Once you have an account, how you log in and you're able to access, you know, like like I said, the history, uh, two years worth of history, how to access and create your list, how to see your pricing, how to go and where you go to see your bill. And how to do a simple checkout order and how it goes directly right into the into the store for them to be able to either request a pickup or request delivery. Now, obviously, you've seen the increase in uh, the amount of people logging on to the system has almost tripled. Have you gotten any direct feedback as far as just people calling and just making comments on, hey, this has been a real benefit to having this online access? We have a customer service desk that we stood up along with uh, launching the e-commerce platform. And that was predominantly when we did that 
focused on set up and through account setup, like we will set up an account for a business owner. They'll have multiple employees. We'll teach them how to add employees and they have turnover, pull employees off the account. But now we we're, we're getting quite a bit of product related questions. So we staffed that customer service team with some former site one branch associates, folks that actually worked at branches for, for many years. And so answering any product related questions that we get, there's a wide variety of how to apply a product to when's the best time to plant, any, any questions around setting up an irrigation system. There's a lot of product related questions that that desk is, is taking. With the uh, former uh, branch workers that they're able to answer those questions uh, fairly well? They'll answer the majority of them and those that they can't, they'll escalate to our uh, category team. They'll kind of triage it, make sure that we get back to the customer in ample time. In, in a general sense, uh, you were talking about sprayers and spreaders and irrigation. So what's what's kind of the line that uh, Site One goes across then in terms of what sorts of products? Yeah, so we have irrigation and agronomics. Those are the most popular products. So irrigation, you know, our, our biggest, our three biggest suppliers are Hunter, Rainbird, and Toro. You know, sprayers, fittings, pipe, wire, et cetera, popular. Agronomics then gets into the chemical side. So um, weed and feed, grass seed, fertilizer. And then of course we have our Lesco brand. That's that's our private brand. Lights, so, you know, FX, Kitchler, and then mo most importantly, ProTrade. So ProTrade is our brand of lights. Then we have landscape supply. So that'll be, you know, like your shovels, rakes, and then we just came out with, in terms of pro trade with our own long handled tools. We put a little banner out on the homepage with that. Those are just being introduced regionally. And then you get into what we call kind of landed products. So that's nursery and hardscapes, plants, flowers, you know, bushes, et cetera, wide variety okay. there. And then hardscapes. So hardscapes is broken out in between. Now, now all the hardscapes products are up right now because that's definitely the, the most challenging line of business, but it, it breaks it down in between manufactured goods, meaning like your pavers, any product that you would put out for an outdoor kitchen and then your natural stone. Since you uh, stopped on the hardscapes there, uh, just out of curiosity, is that, because uh, that seems to be one of the areas right now uh, during the pandemic that, uh, the landscapers are, are not being allowed to pursue. Have you seen much of a reduction in, in that particular area in terms of uh, sales? In terms of sales itself, we haven't seen any like indication of, of a flag going off in one line of business versus another. There, there hasn't been one, one, in, one clear indicator by a line of business. The green industry in general seems to have been, uh, for the most part, they're being allowed to operate. There's just been some challenges for them in terms of maybe doing some of the hardscape work or some of the design install, but general maintenance and, and lawn care has gone forward. So it sounds like generally that's it, there's there's maybe been some impact, but not too drastically in terms of what's going out the door. Yeah, I think it's regionally. A lot of our customers' business has been impacted by decisions of you know, the, the different state governors. So there's definitely not been consistency where you've seen um, less regulation by state. You know, obviously we've seen more business and then we've seen the opposite end where they've tightened it back a little bit. The other thing I wanted to mention is separate from site1.com, we do have a mobile app that we call Mobile Pro. So in all of our branches, uh, but it's in a few hundred, that's, that's a mobile app that the branches use at their at their branch to bring the counter to the customer so in many cases we've seen customers come into the branch and they don't even have to leave their truck an associate will go up to their truck or their vehicle take their order on a mobile device go stage it come back load their truck and check them out without them ever needing to, to leave their vehicle or ever step inside a branch so we feel as though that's been a differentiator even more so right now, again, to keep both the, the customers and our associates safe. So that was launched last year and you were already already uh, utilizing it. And under this scenario, it sounds like that's something that can it can be kind of a game changer. Uh, they can stay in the truck, like you said, and just not not have to enter the branch and, 
engage too much with uh, with your employees. Especially now, I mean, we entered into a four week sprint. We're um, instituting this gatekeeper where there's a branch associate that'll meet the customer with the mobile device when they when they come in and they got the radio so they can talk to the other associates on their team as they enter in the order and then they can communicate within the, the team to get it staged, let them know who the order's for as the customer drives throughout the, the branch and, and get them in and out in a safe way. So that's that's been uh, very helpful for our branch associates. Slowly but surely, some of the states are starting to uh, lift the, some of the orders uh, related to the pandemic and things are slowly being relaxed. What, what's the next step for Site One, and how can you continue to uh, assist your customers going forward as uh, things uh, start to relax? Like we're, we're very focused on improving the customer experience and use and leveraging these two technology solutions to improve that, ensuring that the customer has what they need from us whenever they place an order, whether it's walking into the branch or online, and and really serving that as that strategic partner. It's not uncommon for a customer to come into the branch and ask for and and collaborate on a large job that they have. Not just come in, buy their product and leave, but our branch associates know, you know, our customers in many cases very, you know, personally on a personal level. It's somewhat commonplace for them to have dialogue around how they're implementing their jobs and, and, you know, exchange their experiences with certain products. We give them an advice with either existing products or new products coming out. So we're very, we're very focused on not only leveraging technology to improve the efficiency of our customer. We understand how important their labor hours are, right? Time is money. You want your crew on the job site, working on the job is to be as efficient as possible. So if they want to come in and they want to have a conversation and talk about their existing workload and some of the jobs, we're always there for them. But if they just want to come in and grab product, they have a means to do that in the most efficient and safe way. So we're, we're very, very focused on customer experience at Site One and being that trusted partner for all of our customers. I'm not sure I can think of uh, anything offhand uh, further. I think we've covered pretty much uh, what I was looking to cover. Is there anything else that uh, you wanted to highlight on either the mobile app or, or just the online accounts themselves? No, I mean, I think Chint mentioned it. We launched our Spanish site. I, I think it was around February. So that was an initiative we've been working on for, for a few months to make sure that you know, we have customers where English is a second language, Spanish is a primary language. So we wanted to sure. make uh, make it easy for them to, to, to work with us in that regard as well. Uh, I do have one other question for you, though, in terms of the size base kind of of your customers, anywhere from a landscaper that, you know, where it's him and maybe two or three crew members to the <laughs> larger size yeah. companies that go through Site One. Yeah, it's a wide variety. So, I mean, largest national accounts. I think our largest is is a couple billion, right? Na- sure. National uh, customer, the longstanding relationships, all the way down to the weekend warrior. Maybe it's um, sure that does landscaping on the side in the summer. You know, maybe it's a, a teenager that's trying to be an entrepreneur themselves. We're trying to be there in, in service and guide for any landscape contractor in any phase of their their career and their business. We take a lot of a lot of pride in the relationships that we have with our customers. They're salt of the earth type of uh, folks. And, you know, we work very hard on establishing great relationships, just regardless of, you know, how big the company is. And oh, how sure. They're, uh, they're doing business with us. We're working very hard to grow their business, to learn as much as we can about their business to help them. So, you know, from the, from the multi-billion down to, you know, the, the, the business that's just starting out. That's, I think, just true across the board, no matter uh, really where you get into with the with the landscapers. I mean, it's you're going to have that wide variety, having to access all sorts of things, the materials and supplies that you you provide. So it makes it would make sense that it's everybody from that small business to to that national size. So that's good. Yeah, I mean, a smaller customer could start just doing irrigation, and we could help teach them how to get into lights or agronomics or you know, into different lines of businesses too. So absolutely, uh, the advantage of working with Site One is that we have expertise in all of these lines of businesses. And we provide a lot of, you know, university programs for training them 
you know, with certifications, you know, whether it's irrigation certifications, or if they want to go into a new line of business, we provide certifications for that. During the, you know, the, the COVID situation, we're trying to bring that remote instead of offering it at, you know, as university locations, we offer it remote as well to keep continuing them and training them during this, this period as well. Okay. So, so those certifications are available even during this time? Yes. Well, we're, we're talking about how to do that virtually going forward, but that's, that's the plan. Uh, we had site one universities at the beginning of the year in January or February, and obviously they've curtailed. But that, that's a great point that Chinton brings up. I mean, we have that. We have our partners program where they can get loyalty points and, and cash those in. So there's many advantages to the customer for being a partner with Site One in that regard, for sure. Well, thanks again for coming on the call today. I, uh, again, I really appreciate it. This uh, definitely is good for our readers and listeners uh, to know about these benefits from Site One. Thanks for having us. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, thanks team. 